<laughs> I'm lost for words. This is wow. I'm blown away. What's up, YouTube? Five years ago, I made a video called The Legendary Yuxa, in which I presented the greatest genius in the history of internet, introducing the naked artist, the Japanese wonder, Mr. Yuxa Kazuhisa. Hey. Yuxa san. Hi. Thank you very much for accepting this interview. Thank you. Hello. How are you doing? I'm very fine. Great. So, my subscribers have a ton of questions for you. So, if you're ready, maybe we can start? Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay, so first question Can you introduce yourself? My name is Yuexa Kazuhisa. I am Japanese and I am an actor. This is my first interview, so I'm a bit nervous. It's been a while since I last saw Kevin. We met three and a half years ago. Yakiniku? In a yakiniku in Shinjuku, yes. We ate together in a yakiniku. I couldn't even speak Japanese. We were eating, uh, like, right? <laughs> without understanding each other, but like, it was a cool moment, right? <laughs> the question that came up the most when I said that I'd be interviewing you was simply, why? People want to know just why. Why did you decide to start pursuing this career of the naked artist? Well, I started by doing simple tablecloth tricks. Normal tablecloth trick performances were already popular in Japan. So I told myself, maybe I could make it a little more fun. At first, I didn't perform naked. I did it on my head, on different parts of my body, and in the end, I got to this area, this one here. It was the only part left. I thought, I have to try. I gave it a try and it worked. So I decided to make a video. I put it online and it made its way around the whole world. That's how it all started. You started in 2017, right? Right? Yes, that's correct. I began performing in 2017, that summer to be precise. I snuck in a bit of Japanese. That's all I got. <laughs> Very nice. In 2017, you started posting on Twitter. Did it go viral immediately? Because I saw a lot of people imitate your content on YouTube, TV, everywhere. Well, in the beginning, I posted a video of myself performing naked on Twitter. It didn't go very far. But I didn't give up. I posted a second one, and then a third. It was the third one that created a buzz. In that one, I used a fan to pull the tablecloth. That's what I did, and it went viral. It was seen worldwide. That's when I received an invitation to perform on Got Talent. I mean, I was asked to sign up for an audition. So we will indeed talk about the God Talent show later. The first time we met, you told me one video is five hours. <laughs> How can you be so patient? <laughs> well, the thing is, I always want to do my very best. That's my goal. Since I want to post my video, I can't afford to fail. So I keep going for five hours, if necessary, until it's perfect. <laughs> I make it work, then post the one that was successful. Which video took the most time to make? Surprisingly enough, my first viral video, the one I mentioned earlier, that one with the fan took me the longest time. The idea was to attach a piece of cloth to the fan's blades and then pull it off of me with the screwing action. It was very difficult. The cup slipped a few times. It was very complicated. It truly took me more than five hours to get it right. <laughs> that one was definitely the trickiest of all. Hi everyone! I hope the interview is going well for you guys so far. I tried to make it as pleasant to watch as possible with all the different languages, so I want to thank my sponsor of the day who helps me dub my content. Genshin Impact is an amazing open-world role-playing game developed by Hoyoverse. Available on PC, mobile, PS4 and PS5 and it is free to play. The new 3.8 update is now available, and you can discover incredible new features. For example, in Phase 1, you'll be able to play with Yula and Klee, and during Phase 2, there will be Sangonomiya Kokomi and Wanderer. You will also be able to learn more about Kaia in a whole new escapade. Explore this unique map. 
the Velorima Mirage with its stunning backgrounds and magical secrets, such as a flying trolley that will bring you to different places to collect resources. Look at how cool it is! During the Secret Summer Paradise event, there will be incredible rewards to win thanks to the coupons. And four new games are now available. You should try the Turbulence minigame, in which you'll be able to test how good of a shooter you are with those water cannons. There will also be new incredible events, such as the Perilous Expedition or the Adventures Trials. But wait, it's not all! From July 13th to July 16th, there will be an incredible Genshin Impact stand at the Japan Expo convention in Paris. Here you can discover the entire Genshin Impact universe and there will also be surprises and activities during those unforgettable 4 days in the nation's capital. Download the game and have fun on the 3.8 update by clicking on the link in the description or using this QR code. Enjoy! But is it something you get better at? Like, are you better at it now than you were before? I'd say I've become more and more talented. My techniques improved little by little. With time, I've found new tricks to perfect the pull. But in the end, what's the purpose in getting better at it? There are well-known techniques for pulling off a tablecloth trick, like pulling hard or at a 45-degree angle. But in my case, it's more a question of courage. Maybe I failed at first because I didn't have the courage to pull. But now that I've found the courage, I can pull without fear of failure. Maybe I've grown more mature. Got it? He's fearless. Pure courage. Yes, because I see you doing this on TV shows, so you must master it. <laughs> Indeed. I was able to do it in front of a thousand people, like on Got Talent. I think doing it in that kind of place, with so many people, helped me master it in the end. But when you're in front of a thousand people, have you ever thought about what could happen if you miss? <laughs> it would be terrible if I failed. I try my best not to think about it. But I did have a mishap in Japan once. It was on Wake Ari Red Zone, a late-night entertainment show. There was no live audience, just a few celebrities on the set. That time, I brought a vacuum cleaner with me, the kind where the electric cord rolls up inside of it. I pressed the button on the vacuum cleaner to start the movement to do my tablecloth trick, and that's when the tablecloth and the teacup both slipped away, and everything fell off. Thankfully, they censored to hide all that before airing the show. I performed it once again, this time successfully. They broadcasted the successful version first, and my failed attempt ended up in the bloopers. How do you stay creative in what you do? How do you find new ways to express your art? Because it seems like sooner or later, you'd run out of tricks. <laughs> I've been struggling to find new ideas for a while now, but I'm always searching whenever I can. I don't think they come just like that, sitting on a chair or behind a desk. I go to Japanese appliance stores looking for inspiration, or the 100 yen shops where they sell all kinds of stuff. I go to find accessories and think of ways I could use them. I usually concentrate on the smaller articles, like the vacuum cleaner for instance. I look for objects or dolls that move in strange or interesting ways. What's the favorite object you ever used for one of the tricks? <laughs> Drones. I really like drones. I use drones many different ways in my tablecloth tricks. There's also the, the Kirby doll that moves by itself. It can even make music. When you press on its head, it starts dancing sideways. There's a video in which I do a tablecloth trick with that doll. I hide myself by moving along behind it. I like that video a lot. Did you ever injure yourself while doing a trick? 
<笑>そうですね。Oh, yeah. なるべく<笑>怪我したことあでも。I got injured several times, but nothing serious. For example, once, I hurt my legs during a practice run. You're doing with coffee, hot coffee, and you get burned, no? It wasn't very serious. It was more like, oh, that's pretty hot. But I did spill some very hot coffee on myself once. So, ちょっと。It wasn't a bad injury, just a small burn. It's time to speak Japanese again. In the end, what's your goal? Very good. I hope that performing these tricks, whether in Japan or anywhere else in the world, can put a smile on people's faces. Make people smile all around the world. I think that's my goal. I haven't achieved it yet, but I try to work in that direction as much as I can. Me too. Me too. And thank you. We're doing the same job. <laughs> You've traveled the whole world. We even went on Got Talent. But my next question is how are you perceived in your own country? Like, are you a superstar in Japan or how is it? I believe in Japan, they probably consider me as weird. I think Japanese people find me a bit strange. I'm not so well known here. When I was on Got Talent and went viral on Twitter, it still didn't make me famous in Japan. Since I started using TikTok, my popularity might have grown, but some Japanese people do know me. I feel like for them, I'm still an odd character. I'm more well known in other countries like the US or France. For example, when you go to Shibuya, do a lot of people recognize you and say, hey, it's Mr. Uksa? Yes, sometimes people recognize me when I'm walking down the street, but in general, they don't come up and talk to me. Oh, okay. Often they go, oh, I know him, but I'll forget it, and they keep going. But once in a while, some people want to take a selfie with me. But it's quite rare. People say they don't recognize me when I'm dressed. Well, just know that in France, we love you. Every time I share one of your videos, my subscribers are like, wow, this guy's amazing! Oh, that's nice. Well, when I took part in France's Japan Expo, I did an autograph session. And when I asked people how they knew me, it was either from France's Got Talent or from your YouTube channel. <laughs> It was half and half. Many people came up to talk to me because they saw me on your YouTube channel. So thank you very much. Well, you're welcome. That makes me happy too. Next, I'd like to talk about the Got Talent show. You did Georgia's Got Talent, Asia's Got Talent, Bulgaria's Got Talent, Romania's Got Talent. You did James Corden and you did La France en Incroyable Talent. And you got the golden buzzer uh -huh. and you went directly to the finals. Can you tell us what these shows have brought you apart from traveling around the whole world? I started performing mainly for the Japanese. I thought it would appeal most to a Japanese audience. However, when I began traveling to perform in other countries, the reactions were somewhat different, which taught me a lot. In other places, my performances made people laugh, which is different from the reaction I get in Japan. I was able to break cultural boundaries, and it's helped me grow. Which country has the best food? I've tasted a lot of different foods, but for me, the most delicious will always be the French cuisine. Really. <laughs> of all the dishes I've had around the world, the food in France is the best, by far. France Ichiban. France Ichiban. Do you have something to say to our French subscribers, French viewers? France, I love you! <laughs> Keep supporting me! Thank you very much, Yuxasan, for your time. Thank you. Three and a half years without seeing each other. I hope next time will be shorter. What can we wish for you? So, <laughs> isn't I've been lucky enough to travel abroad, and I'm hoping to do more performances in front of live audiences around the entire world, including Europe, of course. Thank you so much, my dear friend. Peace.
Okay, guys, we thought the video was over, but UX had a surprise for me. I wanted to ask you if I could finish with a tablecloth trick. Do you think you could pull it for me? Okay, go for it. <laughs> These are the stockings I use in all my videos. Oh, it's a relic. So, how is it going, Kevin? I'm lost for words. This is wild. I'm blown away. I didn't dare to ask him for a live trick. It's awesome! So, we were supposed to be done, we were in the elevator with Yuxa, and all of a sudden he said, ah, what a shame I didn't do one naked. So Mitsu and I, what do we do? We press the elevator button and head right back up. So right now he's changing, well, more like getting undressed. It's unbelievable. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want more funny interviews, subscribe to my channel. What are you waiting for?